Anthony Robinson, 35, of Washington, D.C., has been arrested in this murder cases called the Shopping Cart Killer. Police in Virginia say the discovery of four bodies at two different locations in the state are the work of a serial killer who used a shopping cart to transport his victims' bodies after meeting them on dating sites. At a press conference on Friday, Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis dubbed the suspect 35-year-old Anthony Robinson, the shopping cart killer. Investigators believe there are likely more victims, possibly beyond Virginia and up the East Coast. After he inflicts trauma to his victims and kills them, he transports their bodies to the final resting place, literally in a shopping cart. And there's video to that effect, Davis said. Davis said Robinson, who was taken into custody in Rockingham County last month, has lived in multiple locations along the East Coast in recent years. Police in Harrisburg arrested Robinson last month and charged him with two counts of murder after finding two bodies in a vacant lot in the city. The good thing is he's in custody. The challenge remains in identifying other victims. We believe that there may be other victims in the area, and we need to act now, he said. Evidence uncovered after Robinson's arrest led police to search an area near the Moon Inn in Fairfax County, south of Alexandria. During the search, detectives noticed a shopping cart and recalled that a shopping cart had been used to transport the bodies in Harrisburg cases. Detectives said that the shopping cart had been used to transport the bodies. Three victims who have been identified all went missing in the last few months. Police say they are trying to research Robinson's life going back many years to see if there might be more victims because looking at this, I can see that, you know, he didn't just start this. That's what worries us, Davis said. He didn't suddenly turn into this three months ago. All three victims who have been identified met Robinson through dating websites. Police believe his dating history may provide clues into additional victims. Police did not say whether the victims were sexually assaulted, but he stated bluntly that he did unspeakable things to his victims. Two victims who were identified dead in Harrisburg were previously identified as Tanita Larice Smith, 39, of Charlottesville, and Aileen Elizabeth Redman, 54, of Harrisburg. And there's their pictures. On the left is Beth Redman, and on the right, Tanita Smith. Near the shopping cart was a large plastic container that held the remains of the two women who had been tentatively identified as Cheyenne Brown, whose disappearance was under investigation from Washington, D.C., and the second body was found in Fairfax County, and it hasn't yet been identified. So this is a picture of Cheyenne Brown. She dis disappeared back in September of this year. So please be on the lookout for further details. This is a very interesting case. I'm going to be following it.